Uh, we also want to give our attention to the teams that were just knocked out of the postseason, some teams that had incredible years but came up short in the postseason. And Kev, you tell us your lasting image of those teams. Okay, so let's start with the St. Louis Cardinals, saying goodbye to a couple yeah. of legends here in 2022. Yeah, I mean, let's be honest. And, and this is, I want you to just listen to this. Since August 10th, Albert Pujols had 17 home runs and led the National League in homers yeah. from that point on. So not only was this a feel-good story, Albert Pujols hit some monster home runs for this club. Down the stretch this year, I mean, was everything and more coming in the season to try to hit 21 home runs, knowing it was going to be his last year, and limited at bats, and then all of a sudden found himself, no, I'm not limited at bats, in the middle of the cornerstone of the Goldschmidt and Arenado. But this is just a remarkable scene. Yachty, many years with Adam Wainwright, everything that this threesome's done, Adam hasn't, you know, said yet whether he's come back or not, but he wants to face yeah. Matt Holiday's son, so I'm going to assume he's going to be back. Till his 53rd birthday and he should be with uncle charlie as long as that's still working yep. and you're closing blinds he'll be back but listen tip your hat to this club this organization everything they did this year and that's what i'm talking about yeah that image of those three walking off at the same time that's what i'm gonna chills hold. that's what i'm gonna hold real chills uh, now Not for chills now real. for the new york mets of course we have a, a lot of friends in the building our steam producer j mac salesy they're diehard Met fans, so their answer might be a little different. PTG, what's your answer for the lasting image for the Mets this year? Listen, Jeff McNeil won the batting title. I love batting title scenes. I love when Billy Miller, you know, won the batting title in 2003 for the Red Sox at ninth. We obviously had the trumpets going. Diaz, Sugar, loved everything about this, this club. They mm. battled. They came up short. Yeah. Now, uh, the dead inside Met fans will say that their lasting image will be the way things ended. You know, it's not the 101 wins. It's, you know, coming up short in that series in Atlanta. You know, Sir uh, Max Scherzer walking off the mound both times against Atlanta and then against the Padres the other night. And that's just the way this game is going to be, especially now with that extra round built in best of three. You're going to see a lot of really good teams get ousted early. I, 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 think no it says, I think it says more about how difficult it is to win it all. Uh, next up, the Toronto that's Blue right. Jays, Kev. I think the last couple years, I'll take this one. I think the last couple of years, it's been about some familiar names, right? Guerrero Jr., Bichette, Biggio, Nate Pearson was the, the young arm. But some names, some new names introduced themselves this year. Alejandro Kirk, all-star starter as a catcher. Alec Manoa, another all-star who emerged as their future ace. And I think our lasting image will be uh, this exchange, all-star week in L.A. with Manoa. You came in this year with some expectations. You got a lot of young dudes, you and all your position players, talking about the feel of the squad. Man, we feel good. Um, you know, the first half was, was, was huge for us, I think, uh, learning our identity as a team. Yeah. You know, uh, kind of going through some ups and downs, and uh, I truly don't think we've played our That's the way I used to stand when I was break dancing in the streets back in high school right there. You got to go toes out, and you had the Raiders hat on with the white T-shirt and the Dickies on. So but you know what? Tip your hat to Alejandro Kirk. Great job on your part with those two guys, yeah. Manoa and Kirk. Kirk raked, 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 and raked. And the first time you saw him at the plate, you're like, oh, my God, look at this little body. No, he raked. So you He's know awesome. what? That team's going to be around for a while. Just a quick backstory: We were interviewing Alec Manoa at the All-Star Game. He was electric, but the power went out, so you guys didn't get to see that that interview. So that's that's what we're saying. Right. Last one: the Tampa Bay Rays. Kev, what are you going to remember in 2022? This pitching, pitching, pitching. The Rays had the fourth best staff ERA in baseball with a 3.41, trailing only the Yankees, Astros, and the Dodgers. And that's what they do. They need to go out and get bats. It's frustrating mm. to sit here and watch this team pitch, pitch, and pitch and just struggle offensively. But that's what I'm going to you know, remember is that they can match up with anybody on that mound. Pitch, 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 and dance. That's Shane McClanahan, Drew Rasmussen, Ryan Yarbrough doing the YMCA. I, I agree with you. Hey, Jason Adam getting out of the bases loaded jam in Cleveland the other yes. day. That, that was yes. awesome. I'm with you on the bats. I'm going to throw this one out there. I mean, what, what today is October the 10th. If the White Sox do, in fact, move on from Jose Abreu, I think he is absolutely perfect 
Ooh. for Tampa Bay. All right. Perfect. Well, the hot uh, stove season will give us plenty everybody. of time for that.